everyone, welcome to DotEasy. Today I'll be showing you some of the basic functions of your DotEasy account. Let's take a look. There are several ways to start your website. For one, you can create a simple website by using DotEasy's website creator, or if you're more advanced, you can create a website by using HTML and upload the files with the FTP program. Or the easiest and best way to start your website is by using our new Autoscript installer, Softaculous. I'll be showing you the steps of each option. And before we begin, we have to log into MemberZone first. To create a website by using .easy's website creator, all you simply have to do is click on this link on the bottom here under web tools, launch.easy website creator. But if it's your first time using it, it will display a different link. It will say create.easy website creator account. And once you have selected the link, it will redirect you to a different page, offering you two different modes, the simple mode or the advanced mode. With both modes, you'll be offered pre-built templates to choose from depending on your preference. And to make things easier, .easy has provided flash demos for both options to guide you through the process. If you're more advanced and choose to use a different web development program to create your website, all you simply have to do is upload the files using an FTP program of your choice once you have finished coding. And you can access the FTP info by selecting this link over here. And it will display all the information you need. Lastly, if you want to create a website that is sophisticated but professional, but lacks the HTML background, Softaculous would be your best solution. So we can go to cPanel and scroll down to Software and Surfaces and select Softaculous icon. Softaculous offers over 250 scripts. Installation is as easy as installing apps on your smartphone. And if you're unsure of which script will suit your need best, Softaculous offers a demo version of each script for you to try before you make up your decision. You can browse through the list here. They're all neatly organized into different categories, or you can look through the top scripts that are downloaded here to choose. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to set up your email account within cPanel. And select email accounts. So today I'm going to create a contact us email account. So under the email field, I'm going to type in contact at sampledomain.net. And for the password, choose a strong password for security purposes. Don't forget to include a uppercase and lowercase. Um, symbols and also numbers. And select create account. And this is it for today's tutorial. If you want more in-depth instructions, don't forget to visit our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook.